Hello and welcome to the Dynamic CCTV technical video. Today we're going to take a look at Hike Vision's latest people counting camera, the DS2CD 6825G0C-I. Comes in an internal and an external version. We've got the external version here. The external will have a V in the model number. There's also a version that has alarm and audio inputs and outputs on it on the fly lead, such as, as you can see here. And that model numbers with, with the audio and alarms will have an S at the end of the model number as well. So an external unit with the alarms and audios connections will be a DS2CD6825G0C-IVS and that's the external rated and also the alarms and audio. It's a dual lens unit. So it's got two, two megapixel image sensors with two mil lenses on. It's got six meter infrared. The image sensors are color on this particular model, so you, you do achieve a color image. Although it's got the dual image sensors, it does only actually send one stream, and the dual lenses are used more for the actual tracking and counting of and the, the accuracy levels of, in which is able to track and, and count uh, individuals in the image as they pass through the, the counting zone. So it's, it's classed as a, it's a binocular vision camera, you know, improvements in the algorithm. It's also a deep in view, deep learning camera as well for human detection and tracking in the image. It uses a three axes format for detecting, so X and Y for the actual image itself, and then a Z for the actual height. Gauges the targets based on height. So you can actually mount this particular camera a minimum of 1.9 meters from the ground up to six meters, and that will give you differing coverage areas. The higher you, you mount the camera, bigger the coverage area will be. The lower you mounted, the smaller. At 1.9 meters, the coverage area is about 0.8 of a meter in diameter, suitable for more single file entrances as such. It's got a 98% accuracy on its people counting, on its detection and people counting. And it's also got protection against people who might be loitering in the image as well. It'll only actually count the individual if they pass into the detection zone across the actual counting line and then out the other side of the detection zone as well will class as a count. If you don't fulfill that full chain of events, then a count won't actually take place. So it is sort of very accurate in the way that it handles it counting. The height can be set up automatically in the menu, so you, it will actually self calibrate for its height, or you can do it manually if you prefer. But again, that is a very important area of the setup in order of its accuracy in detecting, tracking and counting individuals. It's got quite a few additional features and advanced features within the counting menus. It's got the ability to mark children now, so you can, you know, for certain environments, fairground rides as such, or anywhere where kids might be coming and going, you can actually set a height where anything below that height would be marked as a child in the actual counting um, statistics as well. It's got a reverse alarm for scenarios where you would only want individuals passing through in one direction. It's also got ANR, automatic network replenishment as such, which protects the actual counting data. The data is stored on a, an actual flash memory chip within the camera. If your network goes down, the camera will continue to function as normal, as a self-contained system. As soon as the network's restored, the counting data can then be sent to the back end, uh, whichever method you may be using uh, to keep your actual counting statistics accurate and up to date. You can interrogate the data from the web front end of this particular camera. You can also interrogate it from your back end I series MVR, as well as IVMS 4200, and also the licensed VMS Hick Central as well. So all in all, a very sort of useful camera, very, very useful in certain applications where it's necessary. You know how many people have entered um, an establishment, a nightclub or a cinema as such. This will keep accurate levels, accurate counts which can either be interrogated later. There's also a real-time ent entrance and exit counter on the screen as well. It will also keep you live updates up to date on the screen so you can see exactly what's happening. So without further ado, let's have a look at this to the camera. We'll have a look at the configuration and also camera in action, as well as how to interrogate the actual counting statistics from your back-end devices. Okay, so here we are setting up the people counting camera. Fairly easy process, not too much to it. So first things first, what we've got to do is click on the VCA tab. So bring up our basic config, we select rule. Okay, so two, two ways of doing this. You can do it basically automatically or manually. First things first, what you need to know is how high your camera is. Now based on our settings here available on our website, 
you can see there the mountain height and the detection area that you're going to achieve from said mountain height. Ours is roughly about 2.3, so it's going to be somewhere between these two figures here. As I say, this is available on our website, so, so check that out whenever you need to. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this up manually. So if I go to calibration, we change the lens height to about 2.3 or well there about 2.25 should be fine we'll say okay to that so you click play this you see it's drawing this the count area down here and this is where it's going to be able to actually detect people coming in so now we've got that we need to draw a detection area within the count area so if we click that and we just draw a blue box within there so that blue box is now where we're going to be detecting we're going to do it with a basic line going across so as someone crosses that line, that's when it's going to detect a person coming in and out. And make sure that's within the blue box. You click save. If you've gone outside of any of the regions here, it will tell you down in the bottom when you click save. So just be mindful of that. Um, so we're going to do it with a line. There is another option where you can do it with a region A and a region B. That's if you have a very large setup or if you want them specifically for people to be coming into region A and not be counted until they pass through a region B for instance that's that was useful for that you would set it up that way in our case it's such a small view we're looking down at a corridor there's no point in using that however it would work just the same very large setups would be different so we've effectively set that up that's fine now the only other thing worth noting is up here we've got the OSD now this is going to show us the actual count of the people coming in and out if you've got this um, camera added to a recorder the record icon which is going to be persistent is going to actually obscure that so i would suggest clicking that and just moving it somewhere on the screen where it's visible when you've connected to a recorder so now we've done that click save last thing we need to do is actually enable it and hit apply once we've done that and now if we look at our live view there there's our rule drawn on so as people come through the box as long as they go from a to b or from b to a it's going to count them up there so what we'll do now is we'll go on to showing you how to retrieve the information from some stored data. Okay, so some of the other options we've got here to help us fine tune our people counting camera, our shield region, should we need to mask off any of the areas, the data interval on uploading data to IVMS or any connected device. And in the advanced settings, we've got numerous settings here to help us fine tune. And we can put, for instance, we can put a height filter on to ignore anything under a certain height. We can define what our children are going to be for our children counting. So we can drop that down if you want to include toddlers or make it higher if you don't, for instance. Um, and then there's various other algorithm tweaks we can do. If you have any questions on how to fine tune your camera for best suits your situation, don't hesitate to contact us at Dynamic CCTV and we'll be happy to go through any of them. So that's it for the basic setup. What we'll do now is we'll cut over and we'll have a look at the actual application running and getting data retrieval from the device. So lastly, here we go with running live. So now we should have some people walking underneath it there. You can see it's clocking each of those people with a little red box. And you can see the figures going up at the side. It should be coming back the other way now. And you'll see the red box around them and the leave figure going up there so there you go one two three four so there you go there it is running live okay so now we've done the basic setup now we're going to look at how to uh, query the data that's on the camera itself so up here if we click um, application once that loads up you can see the different types of reports we have available daily weekly monthly annual so we just select a daily report we'll do it for all people entering to exit. If we just select a date there, we'll choose Monday. Counting. There we go, you can see all the people who've entered, all the people who've exited on this side. If we put that in bar chart, there's our time of day along the bottom. The amount of people who've entered and exited during that time of day. We can change that to a line chart. And if we had some children in on the scene, which unfortunately we don't, clicking that would bring them up if we click counting. Okay, so that's what it looks like on the web front end. We'll just have a now brief look at what it looks like through IVMS um, in a minute. Okay, so now we're in IVMS version three. 
To do the same report we've just done from the IPC, we can click on the report tab at the top. This will bring our general report tabbing up. We've select people counting. Under the people counting camera, we select our date that we require. Again, we'll do a Monday and we'll do our search. This is just doing all the people have entered. So you can see there different times of date and the amount of people arriving. We can change that to a line graph or bar chart at the top. If we scroll down there, there's our actual statistics. We can quickly change that to entrance, exit, click save. And there we've got both entrance and exit. The other types we can do here is if we do um, a weekly report, click save, we'll get the weekly report of entrance and exits. If we change that to a bar chart, we get the Monday and the Tuesday and the details of each one there. So there we have it. That's how easy it is to pull off data from your um, your people counting camera. Um, any other questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Dynamic CCTV.